everybody. Uh, welcome to our adult craft program online. Uh, this craft we are making faux watercolor. Uh, so I'm just going to be doing it on a regular piece of paper, but you could always do it on, um, when we did them in the library, we printed out some quotes and made it kind of an art piece for our house. Uh, you could do it on anything, even just like a little portion of something, anything you like. So this one's just a technique and you can use it however you like. It's really simple. Um, all you need is a big Ziploc bag, any kind of plastic bag actually, any kind of piece of plastic will even work. It doesn't have to be a big one if you're doing kind of a smaller project. Um, but for this one we're going to fill the whole paper, so we're going to use a big one. You're going to need washable markers. Any washable markers will do. Um, they do have to be washable though because we're going to be using water to kind of disperse it. If it's a sharpie, like a permanent marker, it doesn't really get the same effect. So you do want washable markers, any kind will do. You're going to need a spray bottle, like a little mini one works just fine. Um, any kind of spray bottle with water in it. So this one's just a big one, but you can use a little one. And any kind of paper. So I'm going to be using watercolor paper, which is pretty fun because um, it does blend a little bit more, but any kind of paper does work really, really well. So, all you have to do for this one is you're going to take your paper, I mean, sorry, you're going to take your bag, your piece of plastic. It doesn't even have to be a bag. Um, you could do those protector, sheet protectors, anything that's kind of that plastic feel. So I'm going to use this plastic bag and pick a few colors that you like together. So for this one, I'm going to use red, orange, and yellow. I'm kind of going for like a sunset feel. So I'm going to be using red, orange, and yellow. And all you want to do is just kind of color your bag. So I like to color it so that all my spaces are pretty full, but like you don't want to do any kind of drawing like any distinct shapes because they're all just going to get melded together anyway. So what you want to do is you just want to do some colors. Get all those colors in there. I don't really leave any space so I go kind of right up to the edge. But anyway, you like to do it. You can leave space but it's just going to be more white space on your paper. So it's up to you. So I'm just adding my color in filling all my spaces up. You can see that they're already kind of separating. That's okay. And some yellow. And pick colors that you like together and that you wouldn't mind if they kind of mixed because they will end up mixing usually. Just because with that water they're gonna spread into each other which is the effect of the watercolor, so that's what we want. But just make sure you're making good color choices. Try not to overlap them if you can. I know it's hard to see sometimes, so you can overlap, but try to just fill all the spaces with different colors. So let me pick it up for you so you can kind of see. So I don't know if you can tell, but I have all the colors in there. Alright, so before I get to my next step, I'm going to get out my piece of paper. I'm just going to put it flat on the table. I got newspapers out. I mean, they are washable markers, so they'll wash down really easy. But just for easy cleanup, I got some newspapers out for the base. Alright, and here's where you create your artwork. So, you're going to have your bag. Uh, it doesn't even matter if you leave your bag for a while. If the markers dry out, that's totally fine because we're actually going to put our water on it in little squirts so it'll just get re-wet anyway. Don't put tons of water because uh, that'll just wash out all the color. So what you want to do is just do little bits of water to get it kind of mixing together, making a cool technique. Alright, so once you have your water on there, you got all the water on, you want your white sheet, any kind of paper, right next to it so that you can just take it 
and you're just going to flip it right over onto there. So, this is my favorite part. You get to kind of see it come through. You want to squish it down. So you can get all that color in there. Squish that down there. If it seems like it's not wet enough or you need some more color, you can go back on this one. This one is not set in stone. Very artistic, up to you. If you like it, you can leave it. If you don't, add some more. So let's see how mine turns out. I like it. I think it's very cool. So you can see I probably had a little bit more water in this top or center part because it really melded together more. But I actually kind of like this splatter look up here. So that one I probably had some, some drier spots, a little bit less water because you can kind of see the strokes a little bit more. But yeah, you can see that the red really turned pretty pink. And everything kind of gets lighter, the yellows and oranges mixed over here. So this is a really, really cool technique. I think it looks a lot like watercolor, which is very fun. So I'm going to do one more of these, and I'm going to do different colors. Alright, so I finished my first one, and I really like how it turned out. I'm going to try another one with some different colors, and I'm just going to use the same bag. So what you want to do is just put a lot of water on it. Get it all wet there. Grab a paper towel or a napkin, something like that, and just kind of wipe it off. It's super easy to clean because there are the washable markers. So that's really their purpose. They're really meant to just kind of wash off. So get it all clean and dry again. And then you can even use the other side. But I like having it clean at least so you can kind of see where you're at in your work. So I am going to use the other, well, I'll probably use just this side again. So make sure it's nice and dry. And then you want to pick your new colors, or you can do the same colors if you like those a lot. This time I'm going to try purple, green, and blue. So I think that will be a cool combination. So it's going to be that same thing. You want to get it all over. That blue is really bold. That's really cool. So I can really see it in this one. So if you couldn't tell last time how I was coloring it, you can probably tell a little bit better now. I do like to get all the way to the edges. And as you saw in the last one, even though I did color the whole bag, there was definitely still some white spaces. So that's why I like to color the whole bag, to leave those natural white spaces instead of trying to create my own. Because I feel like it's a little bit too much. So I got my whole bag filled again, so you can let it dry if you want, but you definitely don't have to. Do it right away. Get out your paper, any kind of paper works, and spray your water on. So this time I liked that middle effect I had last time, so I'm going to spray a little bit more water than I did last time. Just don't get too crazy because you don't want to lose all your color. Because as we saw when we were cleaning it, it does really wash away pretty easily. Alright, so this one I can actually see that it's very wet. So when I'm flipping it, I'm going to have to be a little bit more careful. Uh, it might splatter a little bit, but mostly I just don't want it to drip all in one place. So when I get it, I'm just going to get it right up to the edge. I'm just going to flip it really quick. Alright. This is my favorite part. I like to just kind of push it down. So you just kind of gently push it down to get that color on your paper. And this one, my paper's a little bit bigger actually than my work, so I might add it again at the bottom. Pretty cool. Yeah, you can definitely tell. I'm going to add a little bit more. Probably just right this way. Oh yeah, you could see it dripping. I'm just going to add a little this way so I have color all over everything. Alright, so that is a wet bag. I can clean that off later. As you can see, this one was definitely much more wet, but I really like the effect it creates. So I'm going to add a little bit more on the end, just to cover my whole paper. 
If you're using a regular standard size paper, a big gallon size bag should be just the right size for you. So yeah, you can see kind of the water drippy here. If you want to hold it so it kind of drips down, that works. Don't worry about it being um, not flat right now. It kind of sticks up as it's drying. But when it dries, it should flatten out. So don't worry too much about it. All right, though, there's our two products. So you can see this and this one here are very wet. So the more water you put on, kind of the more melted they really get. And then this up here where you can kind of see a little bit more of the actual strokes of the, of the marker, that's where it's a little bit drier. So it's up to you whatever technique you like. I like this one a lot because you can just try a lot of different things, different colors. Um, they always end up totally different and totally unique and I always good, I think. So that's our adult craft for this week. So thank you guys so much for coming. I hope you have a lot of fun with this one.